James with Fun Media. We are here at the Orlando Regional. We're going to talk to the Tallahassee Regional Champions, Team 1902, today on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Andy Mark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to andymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. All right, Joe, you wanted to go over some of your intake? Yes, so our intake is a slap down intake capable of intaking coral from any direction. Um, Isaac, can you help me bring this out? Yep. So we fold it out of the robot like this, and it allows the coral to just roll up any direction. It'll always end up indexed perfectly like that, which allows it to then go to our hand handoff and go straight into our end effector. And it just gets um, shot straight through there. This quick, simple process then allows us to just go straight up with the elevator and score on any level of the reef except L4. Our intake um, uses just horizontal wheels and then vertical wheels in the back with a twisted belt to translate the um, force between the wheels and this allows us to simply get through all the algae and it's or coral and it's been super consistent throughout all of our matches. All right, when designing this in intake in 2023, a lot of teams had issues with the cones because it's not a... Uh, a shape that is the same on all sides. Did you guys have anything that you specifically tested in order to be able to deal with the coral, which is very similar? Um, so we actually did a prototype that looks almost identical to this one, where we had this set of horizontal wheels and vertical wheels in the back. And we just tested a bunch of different compression levels and different ways to have the wheels and positions. And that allowed us to find one that worked as long with these angles of these plates. We found which one worked best for us. And then we just took it to the CAD and got it manufactured actually. And it's worked great with that um, setup. So yeah, we just got lucky and did a lot of prototyping with it. All right. And Isaiah, you were going to tell us some more about the elevator and scoring system? Uh, yes. So, um, like Joey said, our elevator can go from L1 to L3. Um, and we're running a cascade elevator just to keep it simple, just with two stages. Um, the first stage is just driven by chain, um, and the second is just powered with this cable here. Um, and for our, our deep climb, we also use the same elevator. Um, so our driver just drives into the deep cage, um, and it swings into the robot into this cutout. Um, and just rests against these polycarb plates and this one by one. And then when we're ready to climb, the elevator just goes down, um, which pushes on the bottom plate of the deep cage and just lifts us a few inches off the ground. Um, and then at the end of the match, this ratchet uh, locks. It's actuated by a servo and it just locks us in place so the elevator doesn't back drive um, and then we can just stay hanging. Very interesting. So with the elevator and the out and the algae scoring mechanism, you guys don't do net or L4. What led you guys to making the decision for that design trade-off? Uh, we pretty much just wanted to do L1 to L3 um, and just be really, really fast at it and be the best we could be at that and just optimize that as much as we could. Um, and one thing we actually did uh, to help optimize that is we we made our algae mechanism um, so that we could be lined up to score a coral and remove an algae at the exact same time. So for our algae, this just pivots out, this top roller spins um, and to remove the algae, and we can do that at the same time that we're scoring a coral. Very interesting. And then Samuel, you were gonna go uh, tell us about some of the programming, the alignment that you guys are doing? Yeah. So this year, it's a pick and play game and it, the tolerances are extremely tight. You have like four inches interior of the pipe. So manually alignment with that is going to be really tough. So we implemented auto alignment, which allows us the driver just to press a button and then we immediately just snap to whatever the closest waypoint is and aligns to the reef that way. And then we have a separate one for L1 because that is a different lineup 
because we decided that, or we determined that uh, to align up with the L1, you can't be at the same levels as the um, reef. So that's another button. And then also we have object detection because we decided to go with a floor intake. We found out that intaking from the human player station wasn't going to be feasible because of the risk of dropping a coral into the robot trying to align with the um, human player station. So this allows us to do multiple pieces of coral in autonomous. Very, very cool. So I'm seeing what well, looks like four camera mounts, but three cameras right now. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So what exactly is each camera looking at and which decisions are being yep. led by each camera? So these two front cameras, uh, they're placed so that way we can always see an April tag no matter what, even pressed fully against the reef. And then this back camera, um, just allows for more greater like poses um, of different April tags while you're against the reef or just throughout the entire field. This final camera is our object detection camera. It's angled so that way it's just in line with the bumpers so that way you get the maximum um, range while still being able to detect coral. All right, very cool. Thank you guys so much. You already have a competition win and a Hall of Fame ticket to get you to championships. Is there anything that, that you guys think you're gonna change between now and championships? I don't think there's, oh. I don't think there's anything major that we plan on changing. Probably just optimization of what we already have. We are already proven to be a top L3 and L2 scoring robot and we just wanna get faster at that and hopefully that gives us a good chance. Um, with the speed and agility that we have, it should be pretty good and more practice is always nice. All right, thank you all so much. And of course, since it is 1902, oink, oink, oh! Signing off from the Orlando Regional with Hall of Fame Team 1902. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free, scan the QR code, or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Animark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions.